Hunter, what do we need to know about the storm chances for tomorrow? Well, they're going to be really increasing heading later and later into the evening, guys. As for the rest of our Thursday, it'll be generally okay. Today, too, is going to be dry. But right now, we are starting off at 60 degrees in downtown Rochester. Dew points, notably okay. Low 50s right now, so less humid than yesterday. But still, the humidity will be racking up today once again. Still, everyone else is generally in those low 60s for some upper 60s. The further west you go, we'll climb steadily today in towards the low 70s by around 10 o'clock. We're going to be going for the mid 80s, possibly feeling closer to the upper 80s later on thanks to that humidity. But as we head throughout the next several days, we got three low pressure systems that will be coming in. The first one Thursday evening into Thursday night. That brings that severe weather chance. The next one with a cold front comes in Saturday. More isolated chances for showers. Not everybody will see the rain. We might not see any rain at that, but heading in towards Sunday evening, our third low pressure moves in from the south. This will give us some widespread rain heading into Sunday night through Monday night. So pretty much the whole day Monday will have rain, but let's back. Let's backtrack here. Thursday, we're going to have severe weather. Level two out of five risk is in place. All hazards looking possible. Wind, hail and tornadoes for our entire viewing area. Looks to be a very busy evening for Thursday into the nighttime. Ahead of this, we will have those winds that will be gusting out of the south around 20 to 25 miles per hour. This will prime our atmosphere to see the severe weather chances later on. But the one thing that will possibly inhibit that severe weather is the potential for rain in the morning. If we see a lot of rain and it lingers into the afternoon, we might not have any severe weather as well. At all because the atmosphere will have been worked over and those storms won't tap into any available energy. Now, if this rain does not happen whatsoever, this will allow us to see a very charged atmosphere into the evening and those storms will spark along this cold front isolated in nature heading into the evening before sundown that will be increasing our tornado threat but as soon as the sun goes down our storms will likely congeal into a line or big blob and that will reduce that tornado threat and increase the wind and hail threat through early early friday for all those storms skirt to the east in terms of those threats a low end threat for tornadoes still one or two are possible Winds at 60 to 70 mile per hour gusts, certainly possible, and quarter size hail also in the cars. Heading into Saturday, another front comes through, giving us that isolated chance for showers. But then the big story is that southerly tracked third low pressure system that will bring in some widespread rain possible as early as Sunday evening. This will last throughout the day Monday for everybody seeing rain possibly lingering into Tuesday morning before everything pushes out of here. But by the end of this, around one to two, even a little bit more inches of rain could be possible for some of us. So it will give us a deluge of rain, but it will help us with our ongoing drought conditions that are slowly starting to creep back up in and throughout southeastern Minnesota and North Iowa. But in terms of temperatures, it's looking pretty nice. Next week, we start falling. We're going for the upper 60s for highs, guys. And that'll help with the fall colors as well, right? You were saying? Oh, yeah, especially overnight, we're going to be dropping down into the 40s. So that's pretty much prime for the trees to really start accelerating their leaf changing colors. Okay. Yeah, that whole process. Good deal. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Hunter.